Okay. I want to make this video talking about this topic. So, yes, I may as well just talk about it. I know I haven't made any new videos as of yet, but two new videos. Hopefully, two. I worked on it for about a couple hours. Last couple hours from 7 to 9 30. It was a couple of half hours. <laughs> Make sure everything was good. I cut down one video to like 40 minutes. Going through the live streams and whatnot. So there should be two or three that will upload pretty soon. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about a little bit on how far I have come from since back in 2016 and I, it was a crazy road, it was a crazy journey that I started and I never really thought about why I wanted to be on YouTube for myself. I've always been inspired by other people. The real reason why I wanted to start YouTube when I started out making YouTube videos from 2016 out of the way to present is because and was it because of another YouTuber? I sure. The long flight through community. It's, for those who don't know, it's just people, like normal people, just recording their video game playthrough, their experiences, and just giving comments and just talking about everything. Not topics that they're interested in and when I saw that for the first time in 2010 like that was something that I never heard of like we always had the internet and computers and stuff like that back in the 2000s but it never got to the point where are uploading videos and sharing their content with the world and stuff like that. I mean, sure, we had online websites and, well, websites and online forums, but everything was a lot slower and, and it took a whole lot just to maintain a website or forum or even blog posts in times that truly changed like around 2005 and that's when YouTube came into existence and I started watching YouTube for the entertainment stuff movies, anime, and stuff like that just creative stuff but I didn't get I didn't see a whole lot of gaming and video game stuff until 2010. You know, a lot of people who started the whole long playthrough let's play type of genre of YouTube content, such as Slow Beef. And there was another person out I was following at that time known as uh, DSP and that's how I got into knowing about people giving commentary over video game playthroughs and mainly I was trying to figure out something how to get through a game I think it was God of War 3 because I was stuck on one part or maybe it was a couple of parts and then I saw a couple of channels 
One of them was a random no-name channel. And then the other one was DSP Dark Side Street. That channel had commentary in it. And that's how I got hooked on uh, YouTube. And then times have changed, times have changed. I saw people, I saw him and a lot of other people do vlog content. So that's how I got interested in the Twitch was known for the live stream and stuff. And YouTube was always known for, you know, the video uploads. So really when it comes down to it, YouTube and Twitch are kind of like the same. They're basically doing the same thing. They're just copycatting off each other. And then social media like Facebook, Instagram, kind of piggyback off of them. good going into college and all that stuff, like, guessing and all that stuff, Think, things led to another, and trust was broken, so I left and stopped being a fan of DSP until, yeah, I stopped being a fan of DSP around 2013, and I was in the process of from a college to a university and all that good stuff and while it, from 2014 to 2016 finished college and all that but during that time I didn't know what I was going to do as far as my future goes and as a, a content creator and streamer and as a multimedia artist I met Maximilian Dude, and then a lot of other people who came into a lot later as far as YouTube and stuff goes, such as Atrophy of Soul, Renegade Operative, and eventually Yuri Choi, and that whole time since I moved, uh, Move where I'm currently at now. It's always and there, there's some there were some lows and then there's some great highs. There were some good moments. Yeah. Yeah. Between Twitch and YouTube, I'm more than uh, joyful. I'm more than uh, thankful and appreciate all the things that I. I'm gonna stay on YouTube. I choose to stay on YouTube for the long run for all my content going forward. But as far as Twitch goes, Twitch is kind of proving itself not to be the best platform for me and my content, which is video game content. 
long playthrough content thanks to me being able to live stream and being with a phone provider that provides everything all in one at a reasonable price a good shout out to visible and then having my own workstation set up to where I can do content and then working with my lifelong plan <laughs> Lifelong, lifelong family, friend, and mentor, father figure, and business partner is helping me grow and start my business. And that's really what I do want to do. I don't want to. I don't want to spend the rest of my life playing video games and you know anime and all that stuff. I rather I want to create my own stuff, do my own thing. And, Pretty much have the life that I want to have, which is very possible even past this COVID situation. Yes. Yeah, the Black Lives YouTube channel, that's the, my main channel, that's how I stay. I to stay focused on that. Stay focused on creating that type of content. The content that I want to make on the channel, make it video game playthroughs not recorded but live streams because I want because <laughs> it's way easier and it's way more practical to just stream the whole thing and then you purpose the content a lot later and all on the same platform YouTube has everything YouTube has everything which it doesn't have a search algorithm. It doesn't have any way of being discovered. Which that, and among a lot of special treatment on Twitch, is the reason why I abandoned Twitch and focused solely 100% on YouTube. My main channel is the one that I'm going to always put content on. The other channel is more of a character action channel. I might put content on there and have it as a backup in case if something happens. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I can't tell you. I should not tell you. And it's my choice not to tell anyone about what I want to do outside of YouTube. Or the past jobs that I went to. But I'm going in a route that's beyond job training and beyond newspaper printing. Because the vision and the purpose that I have is far greater than any benefits or bonuses that I can get from anywhere else. So yeah, the Black's YouTube channel, that will be an archive. Nah, <laughs> there will be a backup. It will be the secondary backup channel where I can archive myself if things go bad or things go left. I can't use the main one anymore and as a character action channel. So, yeah. And rather than tell you what my vision and <laughs> my purpose is I'm gonna show it I, I social media and it's all gonna start with my website <laughs> and it's all gonna start pretty much tomorrow or later on today so yep and I'll have a video that I schedule is gonna go out probably on the 25th, which will be the six year anniversary of the main channel. So, <laughs> I can't wait for that to be out into the public, and I can't wait to start on my future plans and realize my ambitions. 
so yep hope you all have a fantastic life and peace much love make the most out of life face your demons and magnify yourself y'all take care i'll see you on the next one